My school has two lunch periods. First lunch period is for all 6th graders and some 7th graders. The second lunch period is for the other half of the 7th graders and all 8th graders. The lockdown happened in the beginning of October. The day the lockdown occurred, it was overcast and rainy. During the first lunch period, I heard four loud booms. I personally thought it was thunder, but the entire lunch crowd started screaming. I was thinking those kids were just serious pussies, but the campus security came in and started yelling at people to go into the multi-purpose room, and the kids who were in line buying lunch had to throw out their lunch and come inside. Me and some friends went inside the room along with a huge group of other kids. Everyone was curious as to what was happening. Our multi-purpose room is huge and the back wall of the room is made of see-through glass. When me and my friends were rushed inside the campus, security was covering the glass with the curtains and there were adults at every exit. My friend Eric was curious, as well as the rest of us, so he asked one of the adults what was going on. When he came back, he said, You know how right in front of TMS there's those houses? I replied, Yeah. There's this mentally disabled crazy man that barricaded himself in front of his house and he's threatening to commit suicide and kill the cops if he's evicted. He was walking around outside of school watching kids in a weird way, Eric told us. It turned out the man was also a registered sex offender, making matters worse. We were stuck in the multi-purpose room for a whole hour, taking up two periods. After the whole thing was settled, we were escorted to our classrooms one by one. I later found out that the man lives next to my friend Brandy, who told me about the previous Halloween when she saw the same man at his window cutting his arm and writing in his own blood, don't come here or I'll kill you on his window. Of course, being Halloween, people, including Brandy, assumed it was just for the holiday. But after this horrific incident, we knew this man was mental, and we're glad he never got near us.